All right, what's going on YouTube? My name is Tyler Self, and today I wanted to bring y'all a quick video showing you guys my actual finished home gym setup. This is the complete setup. I'm gonna go through each component, what brand they are, all of that, all the stuff I have. All right, and for those of y'all who don't know who I am, my name is of course Tyler Self. I am a 21 year old business owner, entrepreneur, and investor here in Arkansas. And on my channel, I post a lot about self-help and just personal development. So without further ado, I'm gonna switch the camera around and I'm gonna take you guys through each and every part of my home gym, as well as throwing in some actual footage of me working out with my equipment so that you can actually sort of see some of the things that you can do with a setup just like me. I will have everything that I'm talking about in this video listed down in the description below so you can check it out and see exactly how much each of this costs. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so first things first, we're gonna talk about the squat rack and I actually have my notepad here that has uh, everything laid out here i'm going to tell you exactly how much i paid for each of these pieces of, of equipment and first things first i would like to talk about the fitness reality 810 xlt super cage or super power cage i'm sorry this is uh essentially just your average sort of squat rack it definitely does the job good um, i have an entire review talking about it so you can go ahead and check it out i'll leave it at the top right of your screen so go ahead and go check out that video if you'd like to go see. I have a full assembly video where I set the whole thing up and you can literally see step by step uh, exactly sort of what's going on. So for the rack itself, that was $339 and it actually came with the uh, weight bench too. The weight bench goes completely vertical and it also has a decline setting as well. So I actually got that for a pretty good price. Right now it's actually raised a little bit but definitely if this is something you would like to look into, it's a very, very solid budget friendly rack. It has a weight capacity of 800 pounds and really, unless you're like seriously into powerlifting or something, you, I highly doubt, will be lifting more than 800 pounds. So the rack itself actually comes with two J hooks and it comes with two safety bars. But what it does not come with is these, you can see I have weight plate holders I went ahead and bought the fitness reality versions of those uh, just because I already knew they were compatible. I didn't have to think about it. I didn't have to mess with anything. So I went ahead and bought those and those were $30 for a pair of two of them. So now let's talk about my barbell. The bar that I got, is, it's actually the Rogue Ohio bar. And this is a boneyard bar, which if you don't know what boneyard bars are, essentially it's a bar that didn't meet their production value. So it had some form of cosmetic issue. Literally, if you can see right here, that scratch. But you can get these bars significantly cheaper. I think that the Ohio bar new is about like $330 or something. And I managed to get this bar for $240. Next on the list, let's go ahead and talk about these plates that I have. The plates that I went ahead and got are the Troy USA bumper plates. And these plates, I don't actually think you can buy them online. I think you have to order them through a local Troy Fitness dealer. I have one, I happen to have one in my hometown. So I went ahead and called up and I asked them if they'd be willing to do sort of a package deal for me where I could get a certain number of weights for relatively cheaper and the rate that I got all of these bumpers for you can see I have 245s there on the ground too because I just don't have enough space for 320 pounds which that works out to be two pairs of 45s so that's 445 plates two 35 plates two 25 plates and two 10 plates so 320 pounds worth of weights I got all of that for $379. And if you do the math, that comes out to a little over a dollar a pound. It's like a dollar, a dollar and a quarter per pound. So if you think about that, that is really, really good whenever you're looking into bumper plates right now on the market. And the bumper plates, I mean, they're cheap bumper plates, but all in all, you know, it's just weight. And the reason I actually went ahead and got these plates as opposed to getting something way cheaper like cast iron plates is simply for the fact that I want the ability to do sort of cross training. I want to be able to do both like power lifting and I'd also like to be able to do Olympic or CrossFit style lifts as well. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and get the bumper plates as opposed to just standard cast iron plates, even though I'd be saving a lot of money if I had gone, gotten just like some cap cast iron plates. But again, that kind of just boils down to personal preference and whatever training style that you're trying to implement into your own 
routine. And that brings me on to these bands right here. These bands are the NT pull-up assistance bands. And I actually got the pack of four. It comes with four different bands. You can see I have two over there on the wall. Those are the two lightest. I have this one here to help me with pull-ups just so I can really rep them out if I need to. And the reason I wanted these was mainly predominantly for my pulling movements. So for example, I have this one on the side here that I like to do tricep pull-downs on. And I have this one up top that I'll do pull-ups. And you can also actually file it through the bar and you can have it help you with uh, bench press. So if you wanna sort of do cheat reps like that or whatever, you can go ahead and do that too. And then the two lighter ones I mainly just use to stretch. And next, let's talk about the flooring that I have. I actually have a whole video where I talk about the flooring. This flooring, it's the, these are just the uh, floor mats by cap. It's the little squares, you just puzzle them together. Honestly, wouldn't really recommend these they're kind of crappy. I mean, you can see they're like bowing up on the corners there, but ultimately they get the job done and it actually does make you feel more like you're actually doing it in a gym as opposed to just working out on the carpet. But yeah, these things are kind of a pain in the rear. And if you move the rack at all, you can see like along the whole back, it's sort of screwed up, but you know what? It gets the job done for, for $30. Like it's really, really cheap. Oh shoot, that reminds me. I, did, I don't think I said the price for the, the resistance bands. I got those, the, those, I got the pack of four resistance bands for $30 and I got these flooring, I got the flooring here also for $30. This American flag back here, I actually managed to get on Amazon. It's a three by five, I believe. And it, I got that for $20. I really, really like it. You know, I feel like every gym should have an American flag. That just should be standard in every single gym. Opinion or fact, you know, I just feel like it should be implemented whatever ethnicity you are, whatever country you're from, you know, you know, take pride in it, right? And over here, these dumbbells I have, these are actually the Power Block USA Elite dumbbells. These are like a thousand years old, but you know what? They still get the, they still get the job done. These things are really simple to use and I really like them. They are a little bit pricey though, but you can actually find these a lot of the times through like Facebook Marketplace or even Craigslist. You can find them used and get them relatively cheaper than what, we paid for them, but you can find these new online for about $300 to get really good quality ones. But these will seriously last you. If you go ahead and pay a little more, these will last you seriously like freaking forever. And that brings me to my knee sleeves, my belt and my lifting straps. So for the lifting straps, I believe I got those for 10 bucks at the same store I got all these weights from. It's just a local shop in town, nothing too special about them. I just use them predominantly for deadlifting. This belt is just the Gold's Gym belt. You can literally find this at freaking Walmart. I got the belt and the sleeves for about $50. I just literally put nails in the wall and just hang it from the nails. The final option I haven't talked about is actually this jump rope that I have here. It is the Fit Fort jump rope and I literally got it for like eight bucks on Amazon. And the grand total for all of this is $1,427. That's what I invested in myself to never have to pay a gym membership again. And I know what you're thinking. But Tyler, $1,400 is not a budget setup. How could you even say that? You must be making bank. Let me run some math for you. All right, let's say that the average gym membership is like $40 a month, right? So we'll say $40 a month for 12 months in a year. In that year, you would have paid $480 for a gym membership. If you multiply that by literally three, so three years, so literally within three years of having your own home gym and not paying a gym membership, you would have already paid for this entire setup. But you know me, I can't just stop there, right? So let's take it even further. Let's say that you wanted to have a gym membership for the entirety of your active life. Let's say that you have another 40 years that you'll be spending in the gym. 480 times 40 works out to be $19,200. $1,400 bucks does not sound like a whole lot now, huh? I know it might seem like it's expensive to get started getting your own home gym. It might seem like it's a lot of money to initially invest, which it is. But whenever you change the lens and actually look at it as an investment in yourself so that you can actually save money. But all in all, I feel like the pros of just having your own space, not having to stress about going to the gym, not having to waste the gas. That's the other thing. This analogy I had with the $480, that doesn't even, that doesn't even account all of the gas accumulation, however far away your gym is. I know personally my local gym, the closest one to me is like two or three miles, but years and years and years, over 40 years of having a gym membership and driving to a gym 
that gas adds up, the wear on your car, the mileage, it all will add up, I promise you. So all in all, if you think that getting your own home gym set up is something that you would think about doing, I would highly encourage it. But anyway guys, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you enjoyed kind of seeing my setup. If you liked the transparency, if you liked the sort of openness about how much everything costs, feel free to give me one of these. And if you have any questions, if there's something that I didn't cover in this video or you would like me to cover, maybe a piece of equipment, a recommendation, if there are any alternatives that you would wanna know, let me know those in the comments section below. I try to reply to pretty much all of my comments, so definitely try to reach out to me there. But anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. And like always, this has been Tyler Self, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.